Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we've got this great little animation for you. We've got three little images here. As you can see they're animating up and down. Slightly out of sync with each other because we've got different animations on each one. If you hover over you can have it linked to somewhere or you can open it in a light box if you want to. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put down below the video, and you're welcome to copy, paste it, use it as you wish. So let's get started. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to add a new page. I'm using the free Elementor Hello theme for this today, if anybody wants to know which theme I'm using. I'm going to use Elementor Full Width page. We'll give it a title and we'll edit with Elementor. Okay, here's our new page. I'm going to hit the plus to add a column structure. I'm going to add three to mine. Obviously, you make yours how you wish. Okay, in the first one, let's go to our little matrix up here. I'm going to add a simple image module and this will work for both the free version of Elementor and the pro version. I've got pro installed today but everything we do today you can do with the free also and I'll show you exactly how. So I'm going to drag my image module up here, pop it in there. Let's choose an image. And there it is not really going to change anything there. If you want it to open in a light box you can do so here by selecting media file and we'll turn that one on to yes uh, or if you prefer to put a link in there select custom URL and you can put your URL in there. Always best practice when adding links if you're linking to your own site leave it just as it is. If you're linking off-site to somebody else's site open it in a new tab just that way your site stays open. Okay, what else do we want to do here? I think I'm going to just give it a little bit of box shadow at the bottom to lift it off the page. So I'm going to go to style, down the border right there. There's box shadow. I'm simply going to click on that. And let's make it five horizontal and five pixels vertical also. There we go, that just lifts it off the page a little bit for me. Great. Now I'm going to go over to the advanced settings here and I'm going to give it a CSS ID so that we can target with some CSS so that we can target it with some CSS code and make it move up and down. So let's call it IMG float for image float. You can call yours what you want. Let's spell that right. Like I say, you can call yours what you want, but it's a good idea that it actually means something to you and it has to be unique. So we've given this the class of IMG float. Fantastic. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to add some custom CSS. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using the pro version. So we've got a custom CSS box just down the bottom here that I can add my CSS with. If you're using the free version, go to your dashboard go down to appearance and customize. That will bring us to this page here. At the bottom there you'll find additional CSS. Now most themes have this but if you don't see this in yours check your theme documentation. There's always going to be some way of adding custom CSS to it. So I'm going to click on this and it'll take us right here. And if you're using the free version, the code that I write today, you can pop in here and it'll do the same thing for you. If it makes it easier for you, you can temporarily make the page that we created the home page here so you can see it by publishing it. And once published, you've got to publish it or it won't show up here. Go to home page settings and you can select it from the drop down here and set it so you can see it if you want to. And like I mentioned, it has to be published or it won't show up in this little list here. OK, well, back to my page. I'm going to write mine in here. Always a good idea to give your CSS a custom title. That way, 
if anybody comes behind you to edit the site it's a lot easier for them and for a title it's forward slash star star forward slash in between the two stars we can write our title or any notes because it won't be read as code I'm just the image float okay well we gave it that class you know our advanced up here of IMG float so I'm going to copy that and we'll go back down all classes have to have a period or a dot in front of them full stop so there's the dot and now the class name I'll paste that in there let's open and close some curly brackets here and we can now add our code in between these brackets so I'm going to say animation colon and we want to give it a name I'm going to call it my move my move duration time it's going to take to complete the cycles when we add the key keyframes I'm going to make it pretty slow I'm going to say 5 seconds or 5s and I want it to keep going and going and going so I'm going to say infinite great now we can drop down and we can create that animation called my move so I'm going to say at keyframes and the name my move and let's open and close some more curly brackets there and we can start adding keyframes to animate this thing so I'm going to start off at 0% at the start of our cycle so it's 0% we can open some more curly brackets there I want it to start exactly where it is so that's the top colon zero bits semicolon and don't forget any code I write here I'll put below the video if you just want to copy and paste it today now I'm actually going to copy this I'm going to copy it twice I'm going to say maybe at 50% I'm going to say perhaps 30 pixels and as you can see that started animating our image already it's going down 30 pixels then it's just jumping straight back up to the top so let's say at 100 percent I want it back to zero so I'm going to leave that just as it is now it's smoothed it out it's going down 30 and it's going up 30. great well that's doing exactly what we want there so that's really all the code we need for this but I want to add two more images and I want them to go up and down at slightly different rates so let's update this I'm now going to copy this one or duplicate it little blue box there right click I'm going to hit duplicate it pops it underneath we can drag one over doesn't matter which one they're both identical and we'll go into this one just simply click on it put a different image in there and now I'm going to go down to the advanced again it's got the same class I'm going to add a new class image float 2 I'm going to go down to our custom CSS I'm going to change this to image float 2 so it's another unique class Now let's change this to say 50 picks up and down and I'm also going to change this to my move to as well and my move to here so we've got unique names and unique CSS IDs there now we've got two images that are moving at slightly different rates at different points now if you're using the free version with the customizer right here you just copy the code that you had if we go back to our page if you put it in the customizer if you're using the free version it would look something like this and all you need to do is copy the first one that you've done drop down put it in there and change the names here 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 and change the amount and then when we do the third one you just copy it again drop down put it in there change the name here again to three 
which is what we're going to do next and change the amount that you want it to change by and obviously you want to make sure the my move is the same so we've got different CSS class names and different animation names for each of ours here but I'm not using this today so I'm just going to delete that I just wanted to illustrate how you do this if you're using the free version and I'll put this all down below you can just copy and paste it straight in there okay well let's go back to our page and we're going to do exactly the same thing again I'm going to duplicate this right click hit duplicate drag it over make sure we're on the right one let's change the image and again we want to go in make sure we've changed this class name here we'll call this image float 3 and here again we want to change the class name the actual animation name in both places here and let's say let's make this one 20 and we'll say three seconds and you can change the timings change the amount that they go up and down I think this other one let's change that to maybe six seconds and there we have it they're independently floating up and down now I'd like to see a little bit more space between these images here so let's click on our section up here little blue tab at the top right in the middle edit section as you can see it says edit section up there and here's columns gap under layout I'm going to make mine a lot wider in fact I'm going to say wider down there there we go that's that's the sort of thing I like I'm also going to give it a little bit of padding because it's a little close to the top of our page here so in the advanced tab here's our padding I'm going to uncheck the chain I just want to do top and bottom let's perhaps give it 70 picks on the top and 70 picks on the bottom just for a bit of breathing space fantastic that works great for me let's update now and see what we've got there we go and then we've got three little animating images with a little bit of box shadow underneath they're all going up and down at slightly different rates and different amounts and of course if you click on one you can have them open in a light box or a link if you want to now just to make sure everybody understands what's going on with the free version let's go back to our first one here and let's imagine we've written this code in our customizer I'm going to go back to my customizer here so we've written our first bit of code in there all you need to do is copy it one more time drop down and again drop down paste it twice and the second one we're going to call 2 I'm going to call it my move 2 my move 2 here change the timing if you wish on that one and change the amount if you want to and the next one simply going to do a 3 my move 3 change the amount uh, change the amount here too and make sure we've got that one as three also so we've got a my move three image float three two two and just the regular without then just hit the publish and for the free version it'll do exactly the same thing for you so there you go guys that's how to create some independently floating images using either the free or pro version of the Elementor Builder. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.